sister and Odeon has. I don't know. Uh, I really don't know, actually. I think it has to do with the manga. So we're going to return back to Simon, not Mick Muran, regular Muran. <laughs> the first. Um, well, it's about time. Go on now, off to your room. Fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> I love the, the backgrounds are really cool in this, though. I'm trying to make out, like, what his qu living quarters actually look like. I mean, it's obviously just supposed to be, like, an ancient Egyptian temple or whatever. Right. I really hope you're ready to call it a day. Nah. Sometimes I wonder if the prince does this just to annoy me. Yep. Lord Simon Muran, we've got trouble. The High Mage, a High Mage Haitian and his men, they wield a strange power, and they're evading the palace. What? I think it's sorcery, my lord. I'm afraid there's not we can do to fend them off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm an asshole. And I am Where is the high mage now? In the palace hall, my lord. Get out. <laughs> Haitian, Haitian. What could that dog have in mind? Oh god, he's like fucking up shit. Yeah, it's it gets bad. What in the... <laughs> it's good to see you again, Simon Muran. You dare to revolt? Are you mad? Mad? Me? I don't think so. But I've come to claim my throne. Your throne? Yes, my throne. For now, I have the power. The power. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, He-Man. So, funny enough, uh, of course, his character is introduced in, in this game, but, like, this is also, like... So, like, they, they reuse him for the, um... What do you call it? The uh, Richard the Third character in Duels of the Roses. So I can't look at him without thinking of Richard the Third. <coughs> you can run and grab it if you want. For my pizza. Okay. Oh, we have a little. Uh, is she important? <gasps> oh my god! I want to wife her. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Prince Apollo, the High Mage Haitian has invaded the palace. What's your name? This place is too dangerous. We must leave at once. What is your name? It's never mentioned. Bullshit. That's literally the only scene we see her in. Are you fucking serious? Um. <laughs> oh no. Um. So Jamie says that. Um. She's like, he is fucking Jafar. What the hell? And Wesley's like, he's also in False Bound Kingdom. That's hilarious. Prince Apollo, did you hope to escape me? <laughs> you dick. We meet again. <laughs> you knew. All right, men, away with the servant. No. I wish to speak with the prince. <coughs> the Seto oh voice. God. Seto voice is rough on mine. <clears throat> no, don't steal my wife. Be quiet and come with us. <laughs> Fuck you. <coughs> <laughs> he only probably, had her for like, 2.5 seconds. That, secretly, that just was, like, a Tam's girlfriend. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, why do you flee, Apollo? Haitian already holds the king and queen captive. They wouldn't be called Can the king and queen. They'd be called the pharaoh and More whatever. More called a prince, so. Yeah. Running away would only provoke Haitian to end their lives. Is that what you want? Suck my dick. Well, I'll tell you what I want. <laughs> Something that only one of royal blood would know. The location of the Millennium Items. Tell me where it is and I'll spare the king and queen. You know where it is, so tell me. Um, I think this is a butt thou much situation. <coughs> si <laughs> Simon Moran. I guess the coughing was appropriate for Simon's line. Dear Prince, here is the Millennium Item. Take it! Take it and run! Run, you little shit. Apollo gets the Millennium Puzzle! Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> you, look at how fucked up he is. Oh no! You must keep this treasure from falling into the hands of these vermin! This treasure is the final key to unlocking the seal to great power. Should it fall into the hands of the wicked, it would only mean Armageddon. Well, well. You couldn't have brought it at a better time. Hand the key over to me right now, and I might keep the two of you escaped. Uh, gotcha. Allow you to escape from Haitian. Ignore this cur. He wait. He wags his tail at Haitian's command. He's not to be trusted. Leave him to me, my prince. You must escape. Out of my way, old man. Punches. Probably did. <laughs> <coughs> I eventually there's just like butt down must situations. Oh, um. We have a 
visitor. We have Eric. <clears throat> <clears throat> Do not move. You're mine. <laughs> no, thank you. I see you found them, Seto. Well done. Yes, my lord. <laughs> I just don't you know didn't I'm think laughing. you would escape me, did you? <laughs> There is no point in resisting. Admit your defeat. And hand it over. Give me the Millennium Item. <laughs> Only one option remains, my prince. <laughs> Fucking run. You must do battle with Nation. <laughs> Challenge him to a duel with your cards and the Millennium Item. Yes. <laughs> we have no, this No, this is a Bud Thou Must situation. Like, if you refuse, he just, like, do me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a wasted effort, boy. You lack the power to defeat me. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, voice really stressed. We got another rock, though, so we're going to take out something we can't fuse with, like this basic insect. Um, so we, um, we, we have a pretty good chance of beating him. Do we? No. <laughs> what happens if you lose? Um, Do you game over? No, no, it's, you're supposed to lose. Like, I'm actually, oh, I'm actually going to set myself up to lose as fast as possible. So that we'll continue with the story. Yeah, that speed run stress. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So like, so he has um, he has the strongest monsters in the game, aside from oh look, oh, oh my god, right. that's actually very uncommon RNG. Usually he'll start out with something like uh, Metal Zoa or a Black Skull Dragon or something like that. Um, and he also has um, the Yami Field. So dark type stuff like um, Dark Magician or Zoa actually gets a uh, power bonus. bonus. Yeah, which actually makes him harder to beat here than in Free Duel. <laughs> Just gonna Tacky suicide. Oh no, it's a weird looking lion? Yeah. There's also different animations depending on how effective an attack is. So if you deal minimal damage or if you attack a defense position monster, you get a little blue aura and a little spark effect. But if it's heavy damage... Then it is. I want to make. I want him to play something else. So just so I can kind of show off what kind of cards he has, because like everyone's just gonna think the only powerful monster in here is <laughs> it's uh, Twin Hit of Thunder Dragon. <laughs> Oops, all Twin Hit of Thunder Dragons. Oh god, Gaia, Gaia the Dragon Champion. That's like not even. Not, again, not even close to as many powerful monsters as he has. Oh wow, we already lost. Oh yeah, on purpose. <laughs> Um, Thacko also says, Fuse basic insect with a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get dick. No. Dick. Foolish child, you've wasted my time. If you insist on keeping the Millennium Puzzle, I'll just rip it from your lifeless fingers. Punch him. Ah! Oh. Out of my way, old man, <laughs> or else... My prince, shatter the Millennium Puzzle! You must not hand it over to this vile what creature. Out of my way, old man. Get your hands off me. Prince, the puzzle. Don't give it... Don't give them the puzzle. Shatter it. Again, this is a... So, like, this is a butt that situation. I can do this over and over again, and... Okay, but we don't have yeah. to shatter it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does this remind me of? And now we should be in a very familiar location to anybody that's seen the anime. <laughs> Hello. Apollo. Can you look fine now? Thank goodness you've awoken. We're inside the Millennium Puzzle. Yeah, that's just totally normal. Yeah. Be precise. Your soul is now sealed within the puzzle. <laughs> I'm sorry, my prince, but this was the only way I could save you and the puzzle. Thanks. I couldn't allow you to simply hand over the puzzle to the likes of Haitian. The power of darkness that Haitian sought to unravel could only lead to destruction. One day when someone puts the puzzle together again... You will live to walk among men. Until that day comes, sleep, my prince. I'm sure there is someone out there destined to assemble the puzzle. In the end, that person in the Millennium Puzzle will guide you back to our world. Now rest, dear prince. Close your eyes. Punches <laughs> you. Sorry. Five thousand years later. Okay, now I guess you can do the fucking voice. Hey, Yugi. <laughs> God, damn wake it. up. My God, I hate this. And like Yugi's actually here now, so we're in. Oh my God, there's we're, fucking Kaiba posters everywhere. <laughs> we're in the modern era now. Joey's wearing his ugly green from hey, season uh, one. Hey, it's not ugly. I actually kind of like it more than his like weird T-shirt from season two. I like the T. I like. Well, I'm not a dispute vibes. I just like Joey. Yeah, Easy I, like, good boy. I like Joey a lot too. Easy, fluffy golden boy. Mm-hmm. 
like the the sidekick character is always one of the most endearing characters in every Yu-Gi-Oh series, right? Oh God, is it <laughs> the dot 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 dot? <laughs> yeah, Michael. Shout, shout, shout out to Michael. He'd have a field day with that. <laughs> oh my God! Attention, duelists! God. Welcome to the the. <laughs> I love like the fourth wall breaking here. The like Yu-Gi-Oh! so world tournament. Not to mention Konami in the background. Like this is some wow. weird weird meta thing where the card game exists. <laughs> when did this in, game come out? Um, so in Japan, I think it was like 1999, but it came out. It didn't come to the U.S. until like 2001. It came out around the same time as Duels of the Roses, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Jamie dot 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 intensifies. Sponsored by the Kaiba Corporation. We're now at the town of Domino, where the selected duelists have gathered to decide who is number one. This is it, Yugi. Yeah, dot dot dot. <laughs> Yugi's not feeling it. This oh, freaking Konami God, logo. Face. It's amazingly. It's, like, like, it's amazingly <laughs> contoured. There's like there's like two levels of contouring there. His 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 brow is contoured too. I, <clears throat> I need something to drink. This is killing my voice. Not down here, not yet. So now is the tournament arc, ladies and gentlemen. Are you fucking serious? Ew! I love his <laughs> jacket here. Ew, that's what I'm saying, ew to. Yeah. He nasty. He's a nasty <laughs> boy. <laughs> He's a nasty boy, yeah. I thank you all for joining <laughs> us in deciding the King of Kings. Today we duel to decide who is the Game Master, the ultimate duelist. God, so and I too am intent upon winning that honor. <laughs> I made this tournament just so I can fucking win. Yeah, ex- <laughs> that would be exactly <laughs> what he would do. I'm already so great, but I just had to make sure I fucking hammered that all in all. He part. also is... I'm making a tournament that I win myself. Yeah, he's also telling us that he wants to face us in the final round, which I means know if that... It's you. Yeah, which means that, like, she's working part-time at the game shop during the tournament. That's amazing. Um, there's also, like, weird blue eyes statue things over there. It looks like a watermelon with blue eyes wings. You see <laughs> You see that? <laughs> You're looking up close to it doesn't help! All the boxes in the background have the Konami logo on them, and there's a, there's a magical elf poster next to the Kaiba poster. We're gonna save... Okay, but, like, he's not cosplaying that version of Kaiba. No, no, no. I mean... No. Alright, let's go up against our first opponent here and hopefully not lose. But like... The, the, the music for this arc is pretty good, too. Right. Preliminary match round one. Yugi versus Rex Raptor. <laughs> oh, this is gonna kill my voice. Don't. <laughs> You don't have to. It's been a while, you guys. <laughs> Guess you're gonna be watching me in the finals. He faced you again? <clears throat> oh boy. I am in pain. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun, though. I'm glad we did this. Oh god, look at this chameleon. He's great, I love him. Um, I actually don't have anything I can fuse with, so I may lose this. Is that a game over? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Everything from here on out is a game over. Amazing. If you lose. I but I saved, this. so I can just pick up from here if I, right. if I lose again. Right. That's Felt really good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's a fucking Kappa! <laughs> this is a so this song is remixed to be the free duel theme in Duels of the Roses, yeah. and it's a song that I've probably had stuck in my head more than I care to admit because of how many times I would grind in Duels of the Roses. Um, I don't want to play any of this stuff. Do we have our same deck, or is it new? No, it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. But <laughs> he I'll, just happened to have the same. Stupid. But I mean, okay. I'm sure they could have like a convoluted reason why that's the case. Like, um, as another beaky snake Be- thing. Beaky snake thing. Yeah. Um. I'm sure they could have like, um, a uh, what do you call it? A convoluted reason for why, um, 
Oh, hell yeah, we got a... Dragon! <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> a convoluted reason for, like, like say, Liyuki's grandpa went back in time... Or not back in time. <laughs> went to Asia, Egypt on his archaeological things, which he did. That's part of canon. Yeah. And the, literally the deck that he has is based off of what the prince had. Oh my like. God. You never know. Like it could, it could be a complicated reason Man, why we have the same cards. Your arm hurt so hard from that region. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how far the game reached. To Maybe come it's to his his destiny. It's yeah. fate. You, you somehow assembled the same cards. I mean, not to mention like you, they they throw destiny out there. Yeah, and it's not the most convoluted thing, considering that like they make it a point that Yugi and Se and Kaiba are like literally reincarnations right. of like the same. Oh, well, exact, that was exactly lethal. That was exactly game. That was pretty cool. Sweet. And this, the same thing with, like, friggin', uh, uh, oh, we got an S-Pow. Cool. Oh. And we got a 1500, 1500 beater out of it. That's pretty cool. I don't know how we managed to get an S-Pow out of that. Maybe because we didn't take any damage. Okay. You, you beat me? I don't believe it. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounded, right. that sounded very Naruto. <laughs> oh, God. More Naruto than I intended to. We're actually gonna, so... It's funny enough, we got a a big dinosaur out of beating Rex Raptor. Aww. That's pretty appropriate. Uh, let's take out something we can't fuse with, like that fiend. Just put that in as a big dumb beater. Um, oh, so. Save. That's yeah, really weird. That costume. Yeah, like the some, the, yeah, like the some style like yellow and are like a hot fucking mask. That's but. the PS One in a nutshell, though. Like the the so yellow and black caution tape ar around the like ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs on our stone tablet, like, text box here. Oh, it's Weevil! <laughs> pre pre preliminary match two, Yugi versus Weevil. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, I, oh, I can't. His, his laugh will literally hurt my voice. Don't I'm do not doing laugh. it. Just do the regular voice. Okay. Let's, <laughs> beat, let's beat up Weevil. Good. Thank he's, God. He's a very punchable character. Yeah, even Rex isn't that punchable. But yeah, Rex him? Rex actually has more redeeming qualities than he does. This is pretty bad. Um, Yikes. See what you got. See you can beat my liquid beast, yo. Watch him just play yeah. Jirai Gumo or something. Fucking yo. It's a little weather dude. Mm -hmm. not, not good right now. Mmm... Bye. Uh, let's see what he has. Oh! No. That's bad. That's not good. That's got 2,000 defense. That's, that's a no bueno. <laughs> Temple of Skulls. That card is, that's, shen that's... shenanigans in Duels of the Roses, though. We got the brain. We got the brain. We got a brain and a blade fly? What the fuck is that? The bug. We're going to get rid of it. We're not going to humor him into thinking he can use insects. Um, yeah, we'll just get rid of that. Bye. At least we got some damage on the board. Yeah, JB sees my logic. She's like, this deck was given to me by my very good friend during a cave-in we were both in. It gave me such good luck throughout the years. Now I entrust it to you kind of thing. Yeah, that's exactly it. Oh, yay, we get uh, Stone Deer. Which... Still only has 2,000 attack. But you know what? We have Regeki in our hand, which I'm means... Say, yeah, we gotta, we gotta fuck that up. Yeah. Fuck that. Well, isn't that some irony? I, he you played... looked at it. I was <laughs> like... We both looked at it like, what the fuck? He played the brain. My brain. And then Eric is like, go all, go all um, uh, Berserker Soul on Weevil. And we can literally, like... Draw five monsters to make to like add insult to injury. All right, we're gonna get this shit. Get the heck out of here. You're gonna take thirty-two fifty, you little bitch. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh. That's a dark titan of terror. See, the monsters starting to get a little bit stronger now. There's no like hardcore commitment to the theme anymore though, like with the um with the typing. They just don't give a fuck. 
please do not have an unfavorable Guardian Star. I can't check it, so... Okay, we're good. We're actually doing okay. I was legit worried about my deck seed and the RNG we had, and we're not doing that bad. Um, there's literally nothing I can fuse here, so we're just gonna... Him with the rat. The rat! Add insult to injury here. Yeah, yeah. Hooray! Uh, now, I actually recently found a physical copy of Stone D, and they actually bothered to spell out the whole word Stone Dragon on the uh, physical card, which is nice. I, I, I ended up getting a lot of those little tournament pack. I lost. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Fucking damn. <laughs> Don't. I can't. I cannot do his. His voice would hurt me right now. <coughs> Nothing else we can do to our deck. I'm legit worried we're gonna run into a stone wall pretty soon, and Who's we may. Who's next? Um, I think it's Bandit Keith. Um, uh, let's find out. I don't know. What? Oh, Pegasus is also in this. Oh, I, I forgot so. about that. Oh, oh my. Oh, it's my! Hey, hey, that's a nice jacket she's got there. Also, yeah, like the. I don't care for her anymore. I like the color of her earrings, too. Yeah. They match her eyes. She's okay, I guess. She's just. Sorry. She's just not. She's not my favorite. She's character. not morally consistent. <laughs> no, she's inconsistent. It pisses me off. Uh, we might be in trouble here. <laughs> Leave him out of the cards! Let's just put this guy down for now and watch her beat over it. It wouldn't be out of place for her to have Harpy Lady because it's a 1300 monster. Dark Fire. Oh, 1500 Dark Fire Dragon. That's gonna be a problem. Um. I got the weird hands thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my Wood remains. Uh, it's gone. Bye. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that's a thing. That's a very my thing to do. I can't criticize that too much. Um, we oh, still have nothing. Fuck is that hourglass looking ass thing? It's hourglass of life. There's also an hourglass of courage, too. Which is slightly stronger. Not by much. I just need a dragon in my hand. One whole dragon. One whole ash. Oh god. That's a great analogy. Eric is like, I just imagine a mimic from like Dark Souls or something, but with a my wig on it. Like that's a great way to describe her. Like very deceptively like alluring, but like Actually, kind of a bad deal underneath. Um, Is that a dragon? It's a beast. Oh. Uh, I can't remember what the fuck I can make. Is it was it Beast and Rock that makes Garvis, or was it Warrior and Beast that made Garvis? I also don't have any like female monsters or anything to make Neko Gal with. Neko Gal? Yeah, Neko Gal is like a 1900 beater. So, like, if a monster is, like, a female, it actually matters in some of the fusion formulas. There's monsters like Mythical Mystic, mythical Sand and Nekogal that can be fused with females. Speaking of mimics, there's your mimic <laughs> right on cue. Yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting, we're getting railed by Harpy's Pet we Dragon. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. She also set a back row, which is really weird to me. It's probably just an equip for something she can't equip anything to. Ancient Elf. That's the card on the poster there. Um, wow, this is some horse shit. Um, We're having so much fun! Yeah, we are. Is there like a stone reptile I can make? No. Oh. <laughs> I still have a chance to come back from this. I'm not dead yet. No. We're still in the She's fight. setting another back row. I don't understand. I don't I have a very bad feeling about this. I don't like this at all. I have 
<laughs> I feel like I still feel like we're probably gonna, uh, even still. What is going on? The this this game it just forbidden memories. That's all I can say. She wasn't doing. I've any never played this. Oh game God. Before. There's Mystical Sand oh, again. Yeah, she's really cute. And the witch on a broomstick. Hit me. I like her green hair too. Hit me. Yeah, and she um that's another example of the female. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere with this. This is terrible. That is a weird fucking looking lion. Mm-hmm. That's seventeen hundred defense though. I didn't realize that for the longest time. <clears throat> Goodbye, lion. A rare fish. A That's a lion fish. fish thing. It's a lion fish. Oh my god. Oh, there's a female. Maybe we can make our own mystical sand. Please. Please. Hey! hey. We're in there, ladies and gentlemen. What's your back row? How screwed am I? Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's probably just equips them. We are in there, ladies and gentlemen, unless she, like, screws us over, which is still possible. What you got, my... Oh! <laughs> this is... Oh, and we're... Whoa, we whoa. in there! We in. we in there, um... Yeah, we're good. Try it. Where are you at? What's fucking good? Die. That card was censored in the English version, I think. I believe. I think she was topless in the Japanese version. Nice. Free them titties. It's a lot of that in this game. <laughs> of not freeing the titties? A, a lot of, like, examples of titties being concealed, I guess. Um, literally none of this helps. <laughs> Get rid of it. The zombie might have been okay. okay. Yeah. Bye. I, ah. I, should, I should remember that. For later, and yet I don't. It's a bird. Spirit of the books. It actually in uh, so in Duels of the Roses, that thing has an effect where it will spawn bukus, and the bukus will power it up. It's a really interesting mechanic, and I kind of like it. Eat my <laughs> that seems to be a tradition when we stream Yu-Gi-Oh games, right? No, Is phones getting no, eaten no, across no, no. the room? That's not the same. Easter Island head. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Moai head. Goodbye, Moai head. Sleep again. I'm gonna plant. Gotta grind. Mm, Eleven hundred. Okay, I'm on board. Can I don't think we can kill her this turn. Interesting to note that her back row didn't do anything though. Okay, her back row was kind of useless. We're ahead in life points. She's got 650 left. And we have six cards left in our deck. <laughs> but we have 2300 life points. Keep attacking us. Yeah, just. I'm, another Moai head. Why should I somebody fucking. Oh, it's the dragon! It's the dinosaur! It's the dinosaur we went off of Rex! The dinosaur! <laughs> and now you're about to get Rex. <laughs> Right? I hate you. <laughs> Why would you do that? I mean, it's not a terrible pun. It it's, pr it's, it's pretty bad. bad. Eric is like, Mystical Sand carried me through a lot of the game. If I had a Forbidden Memories waifu, she could be it. I can relate. I'm actually, um, Mavilus, that's okay. That's a, uh, that? it's a, uh, Winged Beast Fusion. It's only got like 1300. Um, I'm trying to find a physical copy of Mystical Sand, but it was only printed in like, oh, she angry. I guess I lost. <clears throat> oh, well. I suppose I'll simply wish you luck. Thanks, bitch. Sorry. We'll take it. <laughs> You're playing a tough game. No yeah, kidding, yeah. We fucking all those lots. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm gonna actually um, call it a night right here. Oh, it's been like how long? Uh, it's been almost two hours. <laughs> There's so much uh, fluff at the beginning that I'll probably edit out of the YouTube version of this. but um, Or at least break it up into segments. But... Um, so, what I also need to do is play my backup, my save file that is for the for the uh, last act of the game, and play it up to the part that we do the switch over, so that when we do that switch over, it will be more seamless. 
Um, nice. And you guys can see the actual, like, the good deck that's going to carry us to the end of the game after all the grinding is done. I will explain in detail how the grinding is done, and then I will show you the end result of it. It's not fun. It's awful. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad we had, like, at least My four, impromptu like, coming over. Yeah, we had, and that was, like, a really fun commentary, and we had, like, four people consistently, like, commenting. That's, that was cool. Um... Yeah. Okay. It says right here, release here in 1999. I guess I was right, but I know it. I know it didn't come out in the states back then. Right. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys hopefully soon, and we'll continue where we left off. Impromptu Ocarina of Time stream. Yay!